Hi, I'm Corey from ID Parts. In this video, we'll be replacing the front brakes on this 2019 Sprinter 2500 4x4. It's gonna be the same process for any VS30 generation Sprinter, which is basically 2019 and up. And with the four wheel drive and the two wheel drive models, the front brakes are basically the same, including for the 3500. The first thing we need to do when replacing brake pads is open the brake fluid reservoir. Then you can safely jack up the vehicle or put it on lifts and remove the wheels. The caliper is held in place with two slide pins located in the top and bottom. You can take those out with a six millimeter Allen. Once those are out and out of the way, you can pry the caliper off with a flathead screwdriver. You may have to wiggle it back and forth a bit to get the bottom one to release. Then you can take a pair of channel locks or a brake wind back tool and carefully and slowly squeeze the two pistons back. To remove the rotor, we'll have to remove the T30 Torx rotor screw. And then we'll also have to remove the caliper carrier by removing the two bolts in the back. With the two bolts out, the carrier can be removed. Rotors on these models tend to get stuck to the hub a bit, so be sure to have a good dead blow or sledgehammer nearby. Take a wire brush and clean off any rust or corrosion that's on the hub. And you can go ahead and fit the new rotor in place. Resecure the T30 Torx screw. Take a wire brush to remove any corrosion or leftover dirt on the carrier. Reinstall the carrier clips and then reinstall the carrier. Torque the rear bolts. Before installing the new brake pads, remove any grease or oil from the new rotor. Slide the brake pads in place diagonally by putting the inside engine first. Don't forget to install the brake wear sensor if you're working on the passenger side. Put the caliper back in place and line up the slide pins. Tighten the slide pins down with your 6mm Allen. After the calipers are secure, reattach the wheels, and don't forget to put the brake fluid reservoir cap back in place. That's it for this job and this video. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Subscribe to the channel to see new videos as I make them, and like if this was helpful. Thanks again for watching.